So there have been a lot of people wondering why they skipped Generation 5 for the next Pokemon remake, when that's not really the case. So with Legend ZA, that's obviously Generation 6, that's the Kalos region, which is awesome. I'm, I was a huge fan of Generation 6 when they came out, and I replayed Pokemon Y like about a year or two ago, and I, I think they're great Pokemon games, so like I'm stoked that we're going back to Generation 6. I think it's going to be awesome. But I think one of the biggest debates was like if this was going to be a Generation 5 remake or a Generation 5 Legends game, if that makes sense, like a Legends Kiram or Legends Unova, whatever. And the main reason why people thought this was because there really were so many hints about Generation 5. Within a really short time, like, the Blueberry Academy was supposedly based in the Unova region, which is pretty cool, like, that's a pretty cool easter egg itself, and, like, all of those gym leaders there were, like, relatives of gym leaders and people from Generation 5, which I thought was really cool. Also, guys, if you don't mind leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting down below, let me hear your thoughts about Generation 5. Do you like Generation 5? Do you ever want to see a Generation 5 Legends game or remake? Let me know in the comments, guys. It helps me so much, and I really appreciate it. So they did not skip Generation 5, and the reason I'm even bringing this up is because there have been so many comments that I've had over the last month or two, and even prior to that, like months ago, like even just people online, like on Reddit or just on YouTube, other people's comment sections and stuff, talking about like, oh, I, I'm so mad that they, they brought Generation 6 back with Legends, yeah, I want Gen 5, Gen 5, which yeah, it's been a long time since we've been to Gen 5, and obviously X and Y, which is Generation 6, those are newer games compared to Gen 5, so we haven't been back to Gen 5 in a really long time, which yeah, that's true, but the thing is, this is a Legends game, Legends, the Legends series, they, they are not remakes, Legends Arceus was based in Gen 4, but that doesn't mean that's a Gen 4 like remake because we also had Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, which obviously those were the, the real remakes right there. So Generation 5 was not skipped. They're definitely gonna go and give us Generation 5 remakes like eventually, probably after Generation 10. That's my assumption because I don't think we'd get two remakes within a couple of years of each other, especially since Generation 9 is the only thing that's, that would be in between Generation 4 and 5 remakes, if that makes sense. So if, if Generation 5 comes out, let's say 2027 or 2026 even, we'll probably get Generation 5 remakes probably maybe 2028, could be 2027, maybe 2029. I'd say like late in the 2020s, which is kind of crazy to think about, but we went from 2014 to 2021 from Gen 3 and Gen 4 remakes. Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby came out in 2014. That's insane to me. I, I remember always when I thought back on those games, like, yeah, probably like 2016, 2017, those games came out. But I'm like, dude, they really came out in 2014. That's insane. That's a 10, that's 10 years ago. So it was about roughly a seven year gap in between Generation 3 and Generation 4. So realistically i'd say like the minimum year we'd probably get a generation 5 remake would be 2027 by the minimum probably more realistically i think we're looking at 2028 or 2029 which sounds insane to even think about i don't even want to think about that far in the future because well it's actually not even that far in the future that's only a couple of years away already we're already in 2024 more than halfway and we're super close to 2025 already which is just insane but we're also in a time where I think Game Freak is trying to switch it up a little bit. You know, they're not, they're trying to make everything not as predictable. Like we didn't have a Pokemon game this year. We're, we didn't have one last year. We're getting one next year, of course, with Legends EA. But like, where does it go from there? Are they going to give us yearly releases again? Like is, was this gap of two years with no Pokemon game, was that... Was that, you know, a temporary thing? Or are they going to always give us a gap? Like, maybe they're going to start going down the a path where they give us one game, skip a year. One game, then skip a year. You know what I mean? I low-key don't think that's how it's going to go. I could definitely see Legends EA being the only game released in 2025. But, like, 2026, there has to be a game. There's definitely got to be a game. And the reason I say I, I could see Legends EA being the only game in 2025 is because with Legends Arceus, there were two Pokemon games in that year. But next year, like, I don't know. I, I guess it's possible that we could see another Pokemon game, but I think the only realistic Pokemon game that could come out would be, like, the next Pokemon game that would come out would probably be maybe Generation 10 already. I don't, I don't really know, though, for sure. So, and I definitely don't see Generation 10 coming out in 2025. Like, I definitely think that's probably 2026. But the Legends franchise, the Legends series, in my opinion, is an amazing addition to, like, all of the mainline Pokemon games. And by mainline, I mean, like, you know, the brand new generations, like Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, blah, blah. And I also mean, like, um, 
and I also mean the remakes, and then the Legends series, those are mainline Pokemon games, I think they're a perfect addition because it's such a great way to go back to a previous generation that we've already visited, that we already know and love, but also give us like a twist on that storyline or like a twist with the generation, you know, new people, new regional variants, a whole new storyline. I guess I don't really mean twist. It's it's literally a whole new storyline. Well, the, the Pokemon format is changing because obviously things have gotten stale and like I've said probably 20 times on this channel, I think the Switch era of Pokemon games, like every single Pokemon Switch game has been super, super experimental. Like they've all been pretty different from each other, which is pretty cool. And like some of them like that I didn't even like in the beginning when they came out, they're starting to grow on me. Like Sword and Shield, I actually really want to replay Sword and Shield. I hated those games at first, but when I watch gameplay of it now, I'm like, you know what? These actually were kind of fun. And like looking back on them, like they weren't that bad. I still am not a fan of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee though. I, I never was a fan of those games. I think something about when they initially came out put a sour taste in my mouth about it, but whatever. Legends Arceus to me was amazing. I thought it was so refreshing and there's so many amazing unique mechanics that belong to that Legends game that I hope they carry over to Legends EA. And obviously since Legends EA is a Legends game, I think they're gonna really carry over a lot of the gameplay mechanics and kind of some of the styling of it. Obviously, it seems like the game is taking place in the past. I think Legends EA seems like it was the development of the Lumios city and you know the Kalos region and everything like that. So I guess the Legends series would technically then be confirmed to take place only in the past. But I also see there's theories online like Legends EA could take place in the past and the future like simultaneously almost so i guess we'll see I'm, I'm pretty interested to see how that will turn out but you know remakes are few and far in between and who knows what the current state of pokemon like they could even be getting further apart like they could put a big a bigger gap in between generation four and five remakes and i definitely do think they're going to do a legends series i mean a legends game for generation five though eventually i don't know when that would be if if we keep it up at this rate like every three years maybe we'll get a brand new legends game which would be great with you know me that sounds that sounds pretty cool it'd be interesting to see though like after they have announced or released several legends games if we can get to see like a little formula going on so it's like oh every other generation gets a legends game first and then it'll go back to the beginning and then it'll be every other region again if that makes sense so they'll be like that's say for example gen 4 and gen 6 and then maybe the next legends game would be a gen 8 remake and then the next Legends remake, and then the next Legends game would be a Gen 8 Legends game, and then it'll be like, oh, we're gonna go back to Gen 1, you know what I mean? I think that'd be cool, it'd be kind of crazy to actually see a Gen 1 Legends game. Just the original Pokemon only, that would be actually really, really cool, I'd be stoked for that. That'd actually be probably a good contender for the next Legends game, I feel like. But when it comes to like yearly releases again, I'm kind of conflicted because obviously I want to play a new Pokemon game every year. It's just fun. That's pretty much how it's been for the most part. Like I, they they have a history of skipping a year here and there, but like I don't know. I feel like it might be different going in the future. I might just be thinking some crazy stuff now and they could probably just give us yearly releases again. But, you know, I made a couple videos about this already, a couple topics. But I've mentioned this in a couple videos already, it's like, I think they care, I think Game Freak really cares about the future of Pokemon, I think they're doing good things with the franchise, the whole series, and Generation 5 was not skipped. I think they gave us a little bit of Gen 5, and people were online were saying, oh, the Gen 5 remake was the Scarlet and Violet DLC. It definitely wasn't, though the DLC was definitely just a hint towards Gen 5, and I, I might be wrong on this, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think when the blueberry academy came out i think that was the 10 year anniversary of black and white or something something like that so i think that might have been kind of why they were hinting at black and white a lot just because of like the anniversary of it and everything like that generation 5 are also debatably the best pokemon games ever made and i think they really want to make sure their gen 5 game remake or legends game will be really really good because of how amazing those generations were and how fondly people think about it because if you think about gen 6 a lot of people say like yeah those are good games but i feel like gen 6 doesn't really get the love and hype it deserves so i think that's ultimately the reason why we're going back to gen 6 for legend ZA, especially since zygarde in my opinion is one of like the the legendary pokemon that like is kind of forgotten about 
Like, everybody knows about Zygarde, but no one really talks about it, I guess, if that makes sense. So, I definitely think that when Game Freak gets all of their stuff situated, you know, like, you know how they're hiring a bunch of new people right now, and they're switching up the format, obviously the Switch 2 is coming out soon, so they gotta work on different graphics and animation styles and stuff. I really think we're gonna get a Gen 5 remake first, and then a couple years after that, we're gonna get a Legends game of Gen 5, but I think they're really gonna make sure they're great, just because of the reputation that Generation 5 has already. This is Pokemon Black and White, and then Black and White 2. I'm hopeful for it. I know I may sound like too optimistic sometime, which people don't like, but also people do like. So I'm going to stay optimistic. I'm, I'm choosing to be optimistic because I just, I have, I have hope. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.